Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshig and Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools. And today we're gonna to take a look at a simple way to attach your leader to your fly line. You know, there may come a time when you wanna go away from the loop-to-loop -loop connection, or it's just not necessary. So today we're gonna to take a look at a simple nail knot. In all fairness, this is actually not a nail knot. This is actually more of a snell. And just to be very clear, this was taught to me many years ago by a guy by the name of Flip Pallet. If you're not familiar with Flip, Flip is really a king of saltwater fly fishing. He was the host of the Walker's K Chronicles for many, many years. I'm sure many of you recognize him. And Flip and I, <coughs> excuse me, taught some fly fishing schools, saltwater fly fishing schools together. And this is where I first learned how to do this. And yeah, it serves the same purpose as a nail knot, but it's theoretically not. But this is how I attach almost all of my leaders, especially if I'm contact fly fishing, meaning saltwater or bass fishing or throwing streamers. Um, I just really don't have a need for a loop-to-loop. -loop. And like I said, Flip and also Lefty, uh, this is how they um, attach their leaders to their fly line. So <clears throat> this entails, you can do this with a package leader, but I, I really don't use package leaders. I build my own. Um, so I'm just going to attach the proper butt section to the tip of my fly line. And again, I'm going to show you how to do that here today. Um, we'll get into all the details about making your own leaders. As many of you know, uh, I've got the book, uh, The End of the Line, which should be out shortly, and we'll let you know here. And that'll go into detail on uh, how you build these simple leaders, uh, what you want the butt section to be, and et cetera, et cetera. But I want to show you how to tie this knot today. Okay. And the, the only tool I need is some sort of stiffener. Okay, and this is Flip calls this lathers wire. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't know what lathers wire is. I've never asked him. Um, it's just a, uh, I, I don't really know the diameter, but it's a, a thin piece of wire. I just went to the hardware store and got a coil of it. And we cut them off and make these little, put a loop in the end and make a little nail knot tool or a snelling tool. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got the tip of my fly line which I've cut that factory loop off. Uh, not necessarily anything wrong with it, but I just don't need it uh, because this butt section that I put on here is gonna be permanent, okay? So I take my fly line. Actually, first thing I do uh, is that. I take my fly line and I take the tool and I put them in my left hand, okay? And I'm gonna lay the fly line parallel with the tool Okay, and they're facing out to the right. I leave myself about an inch, inch and a half maybe there sticking out. And then I'm gonna take the what is gonna become the butt section of my leader, and I also hold it, pinch it right up against the tool, and I hold it parallel. And I leave myself a little bit of a tag in right there, okay? Because I'm gonna pull that out, and that's gonna then become my butt section. So I take the other end of this piece, and by the way, I'm working with a little shorter piece than I normally would just for demonstration purposes. But I'm gonna take the other end and I'm gonna come and I'm gonna go the opposite direction. So I've now pinched it up against the tool and it's pointing that way to, to my left, okay? And what I've done now is I've created a loop here and I've, I've pinched right there. Now this piece that we just brought up and pinched, that last one that's pointing that way, this is what I'm gonna wrap the knot with, okay? And I'm simply gonna take that and I'm gonna come around, this is where the stiffener comes in. Now your second wrap is the most important. The second wrap goes behind the first. I'm stacking these loops uh, back towards my thumb and my index finger, which are pinching. And then I just continue to wrap one against the other and you'll see it creates a perfect uh, barrel looking or uh, nail knot looking situation. And then I'm just gonna hold tight, making sure that everything's straight. Now I'm gonna grab this with my teeth and if this were a full blown four foot or five foot butt section, okay, this would be way out here, but I'm gonna grab this and now 
keeping your fingers in place. My thumb and my, my index finger are holding everything in place right now. I'm gonna hold tight with my teeth. I'm gonna pull this butt section right out and slide it right down onto the tool, okay? And now <clears throat> you'll see that you have a perfect, it looks just like a nail knot. It is theoretically, again, a snell. And then I'm gonna grab my pliers, grab onto that tag end, okay? You don't grab onto what is your good fu uh, functioning butt section and I simply tighten that down. Now you don't wanna tighten it down so tight that you can't get the tool out, okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna take my thumb and my index finger. You also might have to come in and kind of straighten things up a little bit. Use your thumbnails to kind of, to push it in, maybe pull a little bit more until you get a really nice looking uh, barrel knot, nail knot, snell. And then now I'm going to support this with my thumb and my index finger so it doesn't come spiraling out. Grab onto that tag in with your pliers and now reef it right down. <clears throat> and there you have it. Really simple. I'm going to come in with my cutters. I'm going to trim very close. I'm going to trim very close. And then if you get this right and uh, the, the butt section is the proper stiffness and diameter, you're going to get a perfect bell curve. Um, as I stated, there's no need for a loop. When I, when I buy a fly line, I know what it's going to be used for. I'll cut off that loop. I'll attach a permanent butt section. This butt section will probably be on there for, uh, you know, it might be on there for seasons. There's no reason for me to replace that butt section. I've got good transfer of energy from the tip of the fly line into the butt section. Um, so there you have it. Um, and again, uh, I know there's going to be folks out there that say that this is not as, as strong. I can tell you that uh, we do a lot of rigging for flip pallets, trips, and his clients. I just did a billfish uh, setup for him, and this is how flip, once all of uh, his saltwater rigs done, um, I can tell you that I've never had this fail on a tarpon. I've caught sailfish with this connection, period. This connection has never failed me. It never will. This is how I do it. You certainly don't have to, but that's how to tie that knot, okay? So uh, stay tuned. Plenty more coming on leaders and all the technical stuff on the leaders, but I just wanted to get, get that under your belts on how to tie that nail knot slash snell. So thanks as always for watching, friends. We appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe. We've got a lot more coming at you. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.